Hey guys, welcome to Ballet Express. This is such an amazing thing that Jessica and James are doing because it's so important to talk about ballet and spread the love and the knowledge with people online. And I am so happy to be here in Korea with literally my best friends. They're so awesome. We see each other maybe once every, no, year or half a year. Yeah. But <laughs> They are really the greatest friends that I could have. They are so supportive and so loving, and I love what they're doing. And so you guys, make sure to follow them, make sure you follow all their social media, and I'll be for sure promoting them. I'm always following what they're doing, and I'm a big fan. Thanks, Joy, for being such an inspiration to us. We appreciate your friendship so much, and we just wish you all the best, and you are an absolute star to us. Keep shining, Joy. Hey guys! Welcome to Ballet Express! Hey guys! Welcome to Ballet Express! Hey guys! Welcome to, no, hey guys. Guys, welcome to the next episode of Ballet Express! Today, today we are talking about competitions! Finally. Like we promised! Yay! I love competitions. Yeah, Jessica really oh, I love competitions. It. I was actually supposed to do the Moscow competition. But thanks to my injuries, I could not do it. I sent in my application and everything. And yeah, I had to realize that I mustn't be stupid and sacrifice a whole career just to do one competition. It's sad, but... Your career is more important yeah. than one time on stage. But just a question quick. Who actually streamed or watched the Moscow International Competition? I did. <laughs> <laughs> we stayed up to like 4 o'clock in the morning watching it. Yeah. It was actually, it was nice. And, and on another note, we actually have a, a friend that works with us in the company who won the gold medal. Yes. Evelina, great job. Great job. So, from the very beginning, <coughs> from the very beginning, it was back in 2013, the Baltic Ballet International Ballet yeah. And I couldn't dance with James this time because he was injured. I actually had an injury. <laughs> the, the exact injury that I have right now is what he had. Yeah. So I danced with a Cuban guy, Luisito. What a funny guy. Our friend, Teresa. He's going to love us for putting him in our vlogs. He coached us for all our competitions, but he didn't. He just advised me what I should do for this one. So we did flower festival, and then a friend of ours in the company choreographed a contemporary called My Reverie, and then we did Satinella. So we went to the competition. I ended up getting into the finals. James came with just to be like a coach for us and just help us with the lighting and give corrections here and there. And Lucy to won a special award for the audience favorite. The audience loved him. He, but he's so lovable. So yeah. Yes. He's like a comedian, and it was it was a lot of fun. Actually, yes. he's a great guy. So then after that, Jess got back, and I got better from my injury, and we actually started working on. A competition to go to Perm in Russia. Yeah, we decided we were going to do Arabic, which I'm not sure if you've heard about it, but it's quite a big competition in Russia. But it's in Perm. It's quite a not Perm, like Perm's a city in Russia. <laughs> and Teresa helped us again. He actually came with us. He came with us. This we time. were very blessed to have mm. a lot of support from people in South Africa. Yes. And around the world. And a um, big thank you to all the people that did support us and are watching these videos. Yes. We really appreciate every single thing that you did for us, whether it was a small donation or helping us out with costumes or flights and everything, especially Maurice and Kathleen, you guys. Yes, helped us a lot. We wouldn't actually be here today if it wasn't yeah. for all those people who helped us. Yeah. We're so, so grateful. We're really Every single grateful. day, we, we can't thank them enough. Very interesting thing with Arabesque. We, we flew there, we got there, and it was my first time in Russia. Jessica had previously been in Russia already. She'd gone and done like a little summer, summer school yeah. thing there, which is quite nice. She didn't watch St. Petersburg. Yes, really beautiful city. I want to take James there one day. Yeah. Anyway. 
So the preparation for a competition is insane, especially if you have to raise your own money because we didn't have the money to pay for our ticket and for food and accommodation. With this competition, Arabesque, they pay for your accommodation and your food as long as you are still participating. So if you get kicked out, it's all your own money. And if you make it to finals, yeah, you get your, you get your, your flight tickets reimbursed. And we managed to raise enough money for both of us and for Teresa. So we, were, we really, we are so blessed, really. But anyway, so about the competition. It was quite nerve-wracking for us because it was our first time traveling overseas and competing against people. And now competing against Russians is another story. Ballet in Russia. It's, we all know that ballet in Russia is on another level. So here us two little South Africans, <laughs> here we are. We are the first South Africans to ever go to that competition. Yeah. Even and <laughs> in, in the, the final speech, um, Vladimir Vasiliev actually said that he didn't know that there was even ballet in South Africa. South Africa. Never mind us coming there to compete. So you, you can just understand the thought about South Africans being there. And then the press came and we had like little videos like taken of us. We'll actually and put we'll put a link below. You can yeah. watch the, the video on our coach in in Perm. So we first did Flower Festival. One thing about competitions is you should always do what you're best at. And even if you have to rehash the same piece in every competition, it's kind of what you have to do. Repetition, repetition, repetition. Yeah. But another thing with competitions that we found was that everyone does the same thing. Everyone does Don Latin, everyone does Don Q, everyone does Corset. But if you go in there with a fresh perspective of we're going to do Flower Festival, no one really does done it. it. No one does it. You might get one other yeah. person doing it. So for a judge, I mean, like, if you look at it from a judge's point of view, they're sitting there watching the same thing over and over and over again, and there's like 260 competitors and you see something fresh come on and it's, it's mind-blowing. Yes. So, we did Flower Festival and Teresa was really smart in helping us on the artistic side because mm. we are not good at doing all these amazing tricks. Um, yes, we need to work on it, but it's something that's not our strong point. So, he was very smart in coaching us on the artistic side and bringing ballet from a hundred years ago mm. back and he's also got the most he's got an eye he's just got the most keen eye to see the quality and the definition of steps and the art the, the artistry and the dynamics i remember he would rehearse my variation and i would walk on and he would say no go back and we would do about half an hour just doing my walk onto stage never mind doing one dancing step, nothing. So really it takes a l many hours of rehearsals. We made it past the first round, then we got to the second round where we did Capalia and we did our contemporary which has actually become quite famous for us in the competition, My Reverie. In the end the contemporary piece won the bronze medal for the choreography. Then, much to our surprise, we both won the Galina Ulanova Award, which is an award for artistic flair in ballet. Basically the artistic award. Yes, and then we also got the press jury prize for the best duet couple. Mm. So we were absolutely shocked. We yeah. thought... We were gonna go there and speak in South round one. Yes. So that was the most amazing experience and there we met Mr. Park, who was one of the judges and he invited us to attend the Korea International Ballet Competition. And do you have something special to say to one of my really good friends in South Africa, Olivia? Uh, Olivia, I wish you all the best and thank you so much for your sweet, sweet, kind wishes. And I hope that you um, really find the confidence, because you can, to pursue what you want. 
Um, if you're afraid to take what you can, the moment will pass. You only have now and do the maximum that you can because you won't regret it.